the student came out who had never worn a suit before and the suit looked amazing on her and the career center ambassador said you need to take that suit that looks suit looks amazing on you you're gonna rock it at the career fair and when I told her that she got to keep that suit forever she was just beyond excited so the next day was the career fair and I'm at the career fair and I see her there and she said oh my gosh if I didn't have this suit I wasn't gonna be able to come to this fair and I just got an offer for an internship. So because of you and the professional clothing closet, I actually got my first internship. And that was just, that sealed it for me. That was just, that's why we do the work that we do. I'm Leslie Milley. I'm currently serving as the interim director for the Florida State University Career Center. I've been with the Career Center for about nine and a half years. And within my role in particular, I oversee the operations and administration, including marketing, technology, outreach, assessment, human resources, and budget. I am Heather Lazar. I'm a senior assistant director at the Career Center. I oversee our professional clothing closet, our on-campus recruitment program, and our mock interview program. The Career Center offers a variety of resources to assist students regardless of where they are in their career decision making, whether students are deciding on a career choice, seeking experiences to develop employability skills, or looking for a career opportunity or graduate school, the Career Center is here to help them. We offer a number of different ways that students can gain experience through internships, part-time jobs, job shadowing, or through mentorships. And then of course we want to support students with their employability skills preparation, such as resumes, cover letters, interviewing, how to dress professionally. So one of those resources would be the professional clothing closet. So the Professional Clothing Closet has been in existence since roughly about 2015. It was a joint endeavor between our um, Student Government Association and the Professional Fraternity Association, if I'm getting that name right, and the Career Center, where we wanted to provide a service to students where they um, were able to have access to clothing that economic means would not be a hindrance to that. The process for students to be able to acquire clothes from the clothing closet is incredibly simple. They would go into their Null Network account and every student at Florida State has access to Null Network. They just log into this system, they build a profile, and they go into their appointments and they're able to schedule a time based on the availability that we have. We ask that students try to reserve at least 48 hours in advance to make sure that we have somebody on staff here. And once they've booked that appointment, they just show up to our building in the Career Center, which is located in the Dunlap Success Center, go to our third floor, meet with one of our professional clothing closet volunteers, and that volunteer will help them pick out the attire that they need, be able to you know, help them try that on. They send them to the fitting room, they can try it on, they can let them know if it looks good. And students are able to take up to four items per semester and they get to keep those items. They never have to return them because we know that if a student needed a suit or a button down shirt that one time, chances are they're gonna need it even longer. So our donors are a huge part of our closet. This closet is funded 100% by donors, either monetary, through money or through the actual clothing that they donate. So we get funding from a variety of different resources. Sometimes it is coming from Student Government Association through grants. Sometimes it is coming through, um, for example, we got a recent grant from the DSA. Um, we also get donations from employers and FSU community as well as alumni. Um, both monetary donations as well as in-kind, which are the clothes that a lot of the students are able to take from the closet. The marketing strategies that we use to promote the closet are multifaceted. So primarily we utilize social media because it's very easy to get the word out on social media through all of our platforms such as Facebook and Instagram, as well as Twitter. We solicit donations through LinkedIn, so that's been really helpful that way. Word of mouth is of course incredible. We've had a lot of faculty share with students that they know about the professional clothing closet. 
We provide information about it at the end of every workshop that we do across campus. We put it in our emails that go out on campus. We have information posted in null network. So any possible way that we can get the word out to students, we're doing that to make sure that they know that this resource is available to them. The role of faculty and staff when it comes to spreading the word about the clothing closet is first we need to make sure faculty and staff are aware. We want to make sure that staff not just in the Career Center or the Division of Student Affairs are aware of it, but we're trying to make sure that faculty in all the different colleges know because students spend more time in a faculty member's cl classroom than really anywhere. So. If they're able to talk to a student, make announcements, tell students that this is available, if they hear a student saying, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna go to the career fair because I don't have something to wear, then telling the students we have this available, that's how faculty and staff can help. We're really excited we're renovating the closet. Um, we've been working on this for about six months to a year, an opportunity to make the closet more user-friendly and also elevate the experience for each of our students. Less thrift store-ish, more elegant closet is what we're going for. Come visit the closet, definitely one of those resources. It's a hidden gem um, all across campus. We are constantly getting new donations throughout this semester. I'm always asking for donations. My advice for students who are transitioning to the workforce after graduation is to just utilize all the resources you have available to you, whether that is your career center or friends, family, your personal networks, and really just keeping your eyes open for opportunities and talking to people and asking for advice and being open-minded about possibilities because there's so much out there and you don't necessarily fit into a tight little box and just by talking to people your doors might be open to something you've never even thought of before. It can be a little daunting making such big decisions but I think this is an opportunity to have fun with the process too. If you're looking at clothes, nothing, it doesn't have to be stuffy or like black and white colors, unless you are really a big fan of that black and white staunch, but it can be fun and just have fun with the entire process. Be who you are and sell yourself as a, your authentic self to those employers and they're gonna see that confidence and it's gonna be amazing.